Okay, down here now. This is the older one, the older heater fan setup. And I uh, I got to looking at the uh, little motor, and I realized it does move a lot like that still though, but uh, back and forth like that. But I realized my little screws were backed off a little bit. Uh, I was fixing to take it apart, and I thought, you know what? I'm gonna check one more time and make sure. They're not backed off, and sure enough, they were. Cause now it'll run. Plug it in here. I have my jumper on the, where the thermal fuse would be, since the thermal fuse is burned out. I got two bad thermal fuses with two of these heaters, and it gets hot pretty quick too. But it's spinning. I can kind of hear it, and I can't stop it with my hand, so it's not super weak. Get it unplugged. I can feel the heat coming off of there. The heater part of it works. So, I was thinking, okay, maybe I should uh, not, you know, swap parts. But with it moving that far, the other one not moving hardly at all. I mean, this one moves. not a quarter inch but it's awful close <coughs> sorry <coughs> sorry cough now i got drainage now it's been gotten cool today i was outside uh yesterday afternoon for quite a while uh well inside and outside and fiddling with you know getting all this out and everything and testing and everything and then today i got my box down from the shelf up there i had to crawl up on all kinds of things to get up in there and it was up there <coughs> on the left of that big tall white. <coughs> so I still got all kinds. So I got all kinds of things down that I got to put back up. But anyway, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna take this loose, and then I will put this in there, and go ahead and use these screws. And so, because these are all new bushings and everything, um, we'll just see. It probably. I'm sitting there moving that and thinking about it. That probably wouldn't. I've seen you know motors that would do things like that, because it doesn't. You can't rock it in its bushings now that it's tightened up. Well, it couldn't before, but it was just loose enough that it was allowing it to. I guess it was. I don't know. I couldn't tell it, but I, want, I realized you know this because see there's threads in here, and that tightens up, and then you put your nuts to mount it to the deal. Which I'm sure helps keep it from coming loose on you or anything. But what holds it together is the threads. See these long threads? If you can tell that, but the threads go all the way up to there. So when that's in there, see they they catch over here on this side. So I think I want to try it anyway. But I'll try it in this one. I was getting ready to take this all apart and get this ready to put over in the other one. But let's test. I'm gonna test it first and see. I mean, I could use this one, but this one looks to me to be. I don't know. I, I since it's so much older. Of course, you know the way things are these days. Something 10 or 15 years old might be in better shape than something you bought uh, this month, because of the poor quality of, you know, think the way things are made now. But this has been used and does show signs of, you know, the heat. Now I can't touch it now. I've got to remember, do not touch that. It's been on twice. So, uh, yeah, let me do that motor. I'm going to take that my, my uh, jumper wire off. Let's see, is it unplugged? Yeah. Take my jumper wire off. Of course, it should be unplugged. That gets hot. You know, going to get hot, too. It's cool now. But uh, take my jumper wire off. I keep thinking, I wonder if I've got any... You know, you, I have some fuses, and some fuses, even though they might be automotive design, they will handle 110, 240 volts. And I was thinking, do I have any brand new fuses that are the right amperage? You know, I think it's 20 amps or something. I'd have to look again. But uh, it says it on the, well, I think it says it on that uh, thermal fuse over there, the one that came with the new one. But uh, I keep thinking, well, I could. Of course, you can't, like, run a wire. I mean, you'd have to run a a fuse holder and a wire is what I was thinking. But it'd have to be somehow so that it can't touch. If it's insulated, it'd be fine to put it back there on the back side. Can't let it touch that. It'd melt it. 
and then if it went out you could just replace the fuse as long as it's safe and just if I don't feel safe I wouldn't do it but you want something up in your roof you know up in your basically up in your attic that's not safe all right bye